how to create a project in ESP IDF environment so we need uh, two things here is uh, Visual Studio Code and another one is the ESP IDF Visual Studio Code Studio Code see you can download it here which is the Windows if you are using Mac you can download on the Mac then next is the ESP IDF yeah software that is can compile all the codes and flash it into the chip ESP chips basically so we go to the download ESP IDF window installer. So you can see this is the you just download it and the make correct directory in the frameworks. So what we do is uh, we establish a ESP IDF environment here. Right now we are done with these two things, which is the Visual Studio Code and another one is the ESP IDF environment. And the next thing is we have to do is we have to go to our directory and create a new project for ourselves. So basically, what this video does is. I want to show how to create a project and flash it into the chip ESP. So go to your directory, this is C, this PC here, and now we go to the... When you download the ESP IDF, there's one directory is expressive under the frameworks. And we can see here, we got, I got two, one is the ESP IDF lib master and ESP IDF master. So I just go, in. I, one is I download from there. Then go to the examples. Okay, you can see here tons of the project. So in order to make a basic project, let me show you how to do it. It's basically it's very easy. Go to the get started. Okay, so you get started here. Let's say we just copy this first. Okay, we copy this folder. If just we just want to create a basic uh, project without any extra component, copy this. This is the desktop. Now I'm working on is the ultrasonic disk, so we just name it UDS. Paste here. So, okay, we done here. We paste it. So we have to edit here. Go to the CMAC list. You see here project bling. We change it to the CDS. And we save it. Uh, sorry, UDS, which is out, uh, short form for ultra uh, ultrasonic distance sensor. Then we save it in here. Another one is we delete a couple few things which we doesn't use the PyTest bling manage component this is basically just like a led strip for the previous project which is involved with the blink led so we delete a couple of these we can delete the build file also as well because once we create a new project we start a new build so we delete this build okay next we go to the main here we delete this blink example main we doesn't need to use this idf component we're not using this as well or maybe you just leave it this this is just not uh, necessary you can delete it it doesn't de it depends on the uh, this so refresh okay what we do have to do we have to make a new text editor here which is main.c so go to the text document here just follow my step in order to recreate a project new project here file save as then we can just say main.c here so, Okay, done. You we'll see folder here, which is main.c here. Then in the c in .c, this is just like uh, c make list basically is a build, build, build tools for flash it to the ESP chip sort of things. And save this. Okay, delete this new text document main.c. So we already can edit from here. So what I do is so I copy my project code and paste it here. So I already done before this UDS ultrasonic distance sensor. Go to the main. You copy this one. Just copy the code in order. Just to show you, you can make a new project here. So wait. Copy back. Control A, Control C. Copy this. And go to the UDS main and okay, then we can paste it on here save it what we have to do now is we go to ESP IDF so once you download it you can see this is the ESP IDF inside this uh, we go to our directory you can see CD to the examples so CD examples CD UDS which is the ultrasonic, ultrasonic distance sensor and you can build from here don't build it from here which is the main we go to the UDS here 
examples UDS we build it from here build slash monitor then you can see the progress for our ESP chips when this the code is flashed into the chip all right so before we flash it in, we make sure we our our ESP is plugged in and everything like so let me check okay the sound means it's good it's good to go and you have build flash monitor while to flash it to the ESP chip okay see okay, so it takes some time to flash I take a break for a while while waiting for the okay take a while then you kind of done the flashing stuff so it's 700 881 mb okay now it's going to flash you can see now it's going connect to the com5 then writing it to the usb chip so you can see now it's showing the distance of the ultrasonic distance sensor showing some distance when I put my hand towards here then you can kind of slow yeah short distance here but in, okay, this is a real time in monitoring okay okay guys that's actually not I want to show you the project it just I want to show you how to make a project and build it and quickly just flash uh, any code to the chip this is one way for it if in ESP IDF environment okay thank you very much for watching hope you like it I might go to the ultrasonic distance sensor which last time I'll do it in the microcontroller I want to make it in a chip and flash it on it Okay, thanks guys for watching. See you again later. Bye.